good morning and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. In this video, I will be sharing with you part two of my colouring book collection and completed pages. So um, in this part, I am going to be sharing with you the rest of the books that are on my first shelf. So um, these will include my colour year books, Carolina Cooper Colster, uh, Jasmine Beckett Griffith and um, Eerie. I think there will be a few other random ones um, thrown in just because that was the only shelf I could really fit them on. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we'll just get started. So the first book is the Reverse Colouring Book. So this isn't exactly a colouring book per se, um, but I yeah, I really, really love this. This is by Kendra Norton. Um, and basically, you have sort of like these images done for you. It's divided into the four seasons. And it looks like they're sort of like a, kind of like a very painterly watercolour sort of design. Some are more obvious like this. Some are more abstract. Um, and you just outline and, you know, sort of draw what you see, you know, and sort of just add your own line work to the designs. Um, I've only done one in here. Um, I started this one, haven't come back to this one yet, and I was literally just um, outlining the, the shapes and that was that was good enough for me, do you know what I mean? Um, but I kind of, I don't know, this looks like a little, I don't know, a little dinosaur, like that's his head, that's his eye, this is his body. I, I, I don't know, I could be wrong. But also you could do like lots of little Mike Wazowski's, couldn't you, <laughs> from Monsters Inc. That would be quite cool. Um, but the one I've done is this one. Um, and I just literally outlined the shapes, added, added a little bit of hatching in a few places. Um, just sort of, you know, done like some wiggly lines. Um, so yeah, just... And, you know, it, it didn't take long. I had a lot of fun with it. Um, and it was just really, really relaxing. So, yeah, I, I do enjoy having this one in my collection. I love this. Love the colours of that one. That would look beautiful in my upstairs bathroom once it's decorated because this sort of teal colour matches um, one of the colours on the, on the wallpaper. But something like this is a lot more simplistic. You can see what the design is. Um, but yeah, a lot to sort of keep you busy in here. That's really, really lovely, that one. Um, and that was a gift from my lovely friend, Deborah. Um, then I have this one, um, Sakuums. This is the Fantasy Characters Colouring Book 2017. Um, apparently I have a whip in here. Okay, so this one, whoops, this one here is a whip. Um, this is just alcohol marker so far. I have no idea when I started this one. Um, I don't, I don't colour in these books often, only because I've found that even when I put a base of alcohol marker down, it seems to be kind of blotchy. It's, it's really weird. Um, <clears throat> but... Yeah, the images are, are absolutely beautiful and I love that it's spiral bound across the top. Yeah, this one really struggled. This was, um, oh, this is quite an old picture, but you can see sort of just how blotchy the alcohol markers were. It was just, and don't get me wrong, they, they weren't running out. They were really juicy markers and they just look really blotchy and streaky on this paper um down here I did try to smooth out some of it on her kimono with pencils but I just I really felt like I had to work at it and I think um from now on I I don't know I'm gonna have to maybe come up with another way to work on this don't get me wrong it's it's stunning the card work um card work the card stock is beautiful it's really lovely and smooth so yeah I, I don't know I need to come up with a way to work on here successfully to give me the um 
to give me the results that I want in in uh, in these books. The next one is another Sikuams book. This is the Natural Enchantment Colouring Book 2018. Again, I've got a whip in here, which is this one. And I, you know, I didn't even realise. Again, this is, you know, this is quite a few years old. This one. Um, I faced her with like a really, really pale skin tone. I done this arm down to here, and I haven't, I haven't faced the rest of it. So it might be that I need to go in with a different skin tone because I have no idea. Um, you know what? what colour that would have been from years ago no idea whatsoever um yeah I do love this one but I just wish that I had kept the um I don't know just kept the colours a little bit more cohesive I love the flowers that I've done here on the hydrangeas I think they look really pretty with those pastel colours um but I think the roses and the red butterfly kind of stick out a little bit like a sore thumb. <laughs> um, the turquoisey blue butterflies, they're not too jarring. Um, but I don't know, maybe I should have just done the, the roses down here. Um, done them sort of like white or cream. I think that would have looked quite nice. But, you know, again, it is what it is. Um... <clears throat> But I have coloured in this one. And I coloured this one here. I think this was the first page I'd done in here. And I coloured her to look like my beautiful best friend, Tess. Um, Tess has got the most incredible long, dark hair. Um, and, you know, beautiful big brown eyes. And, yeah, I, I coloured her to, to look like Tess. Although I did give her sort of like purple and pink sort of like a I don't know what color would you call this like a deep I don't know magenta kind of color um but yeah I, I do like how this one turned out um I think I've got another one in here as well that I really like yeah this one um I don't think I did I do any pencil shading on this one? Oh, a tiny tiny little bit I did a tiny little bit of pencil shading on this one, just a tiny little bit on her face, on her skin, and in these pale pink flowers and on this here. But yeah, I, I do like actually how this one turned out. I um oh I'll just lift it up a little bit. Yeah, I do like how that one turned out. I like the colours on that one. Really, really pretty. Um yeah. So that's that one. <clears throat> then I have um, a few books from Colour Year. I did have um, quite a few more than this, but um, the other ones that I had in my collection, um, they just weren't books that I was really reaching for, and so they have been donated. Um, so the ones I have kept hold of is Wonderful Little World Volume 2. Um, and again, Colour Year sent all of me... Uh, <laughs> all of these to me for review um, and I haven't completed a page in this one as yet but I have got a whip in this one um, yeah, I, I don't like my colour choices at all I tried doing it um, sort of like a like a mustard colour with grey and then um, you know sort of I was trying to use a colour palette that my mum's got in her living room I didn't pull it off and I don't like it um so I don't even think that this is a page that I will be coming back to if I'm being honest um but again these books have the most incredible cardstock and gorgeous gorgeous pictures oh look at this one for Halloween look at that so cute I'm sorry that I've got this at a bit of a weird angle I'm just trying to show you but without um knocking the knocking the tripod this is very cute. I wonder what sort of spring ones they've got. This would be good for like an April showers one, wouldn't it? Oh, look at this. I love that page. Look at that. Oh. Yeah, 
haven't looked through this one for a long time. This is really cute. Oh, that's really lovely. So, yeah, that is a wonderful little world volume two, again by Kalia. <clears throat> then I have this one. This is the Colouring Adventures um, by Kalia. Um, I haven't coloured anything in this one. I don't think, have I? Um, I love the portraits in this book. Absolutely love them. They are breathtaking. Um, and the lovely Wendy from Wendy's Colouring here on YouTube. Um, oh, she does the most amazing work on those pages. I love this one with the tiger. I think that is so gorgeous. Um, yeah, anyone with a YouTube channel who I mention, um, I will link in the description. See this as well. It's just... Oh, so beautiful. I really like the mixture that we get in here with the, the portraits, the mandalas, the really cute little scenes here. Um, yeah, they're just really lovely. I don't, I thought I had uh, maybe done one, but no, I haven't coloured in here yet. Your hair as well. How pretty is that? That would be a lovely one for spring, wouldn't it? I'm so sorry, not the, not the tripod. Um, but yeah, there's that one. Let's put a little bit of, um, I don't know how I'd get washi tape on that one actually, to show that I haven't coloured in it. But I've, I've got a list anyway, so I'll leave that for now. Um, then I have this one. This is Mandala Mystery Black and White Colouring Book. Um, this is a colour by number, which I love. These are so fun. I think... Colour, yeah, do such a stunning job with uh, colour by numbers. The colour choices are beautiful. Um, and this is one of my 10 books to complete for 2024. Um, I had 28 pages to do. I've done two this year so far. Excuse me, this year, this year so far. So I've got 26 pages left, so I need to kind of get a wiggle on. But I've done a, I've done a few in here. I'm so sorry. With these... Uh, spiral bound books it's uh yeah it's tricky to not try and catch the tripod but as you can see like we get the color palette down here at the bottom they don't overwhelm us with colors which is lovely um and i've done yeah i've done a couple in here see sometimes it's you think you've missed a page but you haven't it's just because the paper is so incredibly thick um Uh, here's one. I, I love this one. Really do like the colours on that one. Um, April Colour Your Hoard 2022. So I um, did this one like two years ago. This was the first page in here that I had done. This is quite a recent-ish one, I think. Um, I know I've done... Yeah, that one as well. Love that one. And the nameplate as well. The colours on this are beautiful. So I've done a few in there. So that is one of my ten to complete. So I'm just going to put that back on the <coughs> shelf of my desk beside me. Because I like to keep those books there. Um, and then the next is a very, very recent one. It is this one. The Black and White Large Mandalas um, Volume 2. Um, and I think I've spilled drink on that one I know I have coloured in this one um, but yeah gorgeous gorgeous pages I would highly recommend these books the, the quality of them the, the paper the designs it's just superb yeah this one this the, the white marks here on the background that wasn't a printing error that was completely my fault um but yeah i colored this one and i put some writing on here as well um link who's um one of our cats he's my my tabby boy um and i call him my little cheetah face so i wrote that down here as well um i just saw this page and i was like okay i need to color him like link um i, th I think this is the only one i've done in here so far 
Um, if you want a flip through of this, there is one on the channel. If you go to the flip through playlist, you will see um, an entire flip through. Yeah, so I've just done the one page in that one so far. So that is the colour year books. Um, and then I have this one. This is Wild Soul by Grazia Solvo. Um, this was a gift a couple years ago from my beautiful friend Pat. She has um, a channel here on YouTube. Again, I will link Pat down below. Bless her. She's an absolute sweetheart. Um, so I've only coloured one page in here so far, though, which is it's such a shame because these images are stunning. And I always plan to sort of come back and, and do another one, but... I never quite get to it. I love this. I mean, I love all the images in here, but some of them just, oh my goodness, they're just out of this world. This is another favourite. <clears throat> but the one that I have done, yeah, you've just got a peek there. The one that I have done, this one, this was a buddy colour with Pat um, when I first got the book. And mine is all done, yeah, it's all done in pencil. No no alcohol marker, no nothing, all pencils. And it took me a long time to complete. I was so scared because I am not good at fur or feathers or anything like that. Um, and hair isn't one of my strong points. I love colouring it, but I'm not, I'm not the best at it. Um, but I was really pleased actually with how this one turned out um, and I think this was all done with my polychromos there's a little bit of like gel pen here on her jewellery and some white gel pen there for like the lace on her top but um, yeah I was really pleased with how he turned out and I love his eyes they're just so cute I look at the eyes on these two now and I'm like I Mm, especially where I put the highlights I know I can do better than that but um, yeah they're just I mean what is not to love look at that oh my goodness yeah see this <sighs> this page just oh it sings to me it really does um, I just because owls and foxes are my favourite animals I um I really want to make sure that I'm sort of you know I do this page justice but look how gorgeous that is so beautiful but then there's other pages like this where you've just got a lot of open space and that terrifies me <laughs> it really scares me so maybe pages like this are something that I need to put a marker base down on um just to maybe not make that open space so intimidating. Um, but yeah, there is that one by Grazia Salvo. Next, I move into my Carolina Kubikowska books. So the first one is Rising. Absolutely love this book. It is just breathtaking, as is all of her work. Um, I do plan on getting some more of her books eventually, but right now I'm you know I'm good with the ones I have but her work is so unusual and different and there is nothing else out there like it and I think that's what I love and I I love that a lot of it is unusual and different I really do um I've colored one page in here uh here we go I've colored this one so this is the only page I've done in here so far. Um, this was all done with coloured pencils and then the sort of ochre colour here in the background. That was, um, what was that, a watercolour I think? Or a gouache? I think, yeah, it was a gouache. It was my first ever time using a gouache from a tube. Um, it was definitely a learning curve, but I enjoyed it. I just didn't feel like... I don't know, even not, you know, not working the page too much at all. I felt like it started to really kind of affect the paper. So I'm not sure if, I don't know, I need to maybe just build my confidence a little bit with water mediums on this paper. However, in one of her other books that I have, 
water medium works an absolute dream um but yeah this was all pencils apart from that um and i used the phoenix color pencils that i was really kindly um sent by i think it was my gorgeous friend gina I, i'm sure it was gina if i'm mistaken i'm so so sorry um but yeah that was my first time using those pencils and they worked beautifully on this paper um and then i've got a little bit of the renaissance um watercolor there on like this these beads on the cat's like headdress there so pretty um yeah absolutely love this book it's definitely um up there i think with one of my favorites in my collection it's just so different some of them are kind of they're quite haunting but in a beautiful way i hope that makes sense i just oh I, I cannot say enough good things about carolina's artwork um and this one again by carolina kubikowska ticket to dreams this was the first book of hers um that i ever i ever had and this was the first page i completed i think it was this little cat at the front super cute um that was done with my darwin ink tents um i don't even know if it's got pencil on it i think that's just darwin ink tents and some white posca i think on that one um was that my first page i can't remember but i i know this was my first sort of uh like proper completed page in the book this one and this was a buddy color with the beautiful um debbie from color me stress free um and at the time i was really quite happy with how this turned out um i love the bunny i really like my crystals i like the the green mushrooms and stuff but i'm just i look at it now and i'm like oh my background leave, leaves a lot to be desired but we've all got to start somewhere haven't we and then as you can see where these sort of dots are in the background i just put some um like some shimmery stuff over the top it kind of looks like um either the spectrum noir clear glitter brush pens or um wink of stella like something something along those lines um but yeah i'm do you know i'm really sorry i'm gonna have to go from the front on this one because the paper is so thick um i completed this one um i think i i think this was last year or the year before she's a more recent one anyway and she didn't take long at all and as I said, Darwin Ink Tents just works such a dream in this book. Ah, this one. This was a whip for a really long time and I just came back and finished it. I'm... Uh, it's alright. It is what it is. It's a completed page. But I, I love this one. I really love that. I think that's beautiful. I do think that's all my pages in this one so far. But there's not a single page in any of her books that i own that i don't want to color um and i think that is just yeah the sign of a remarkable artist who just i i feel a connection with their artwork um i don't know maybe that sounds a little bit cheesy <laughs> i don't do any of you guys feel like that that there's like maybe an artist or a few artists that you just feel a connection with their work because i have a few like that I, I do have a few artists like that um so yeah and i think that's why their books are even more precious to me um anyway um <clears throat> and then i have this one i was so fortunate to get this book last year um my beautiful best friend claire um i think she was I think she was advertising this. I, I can't remember how it came about. But anyway, I purchased this book from Claire. And I, oh my gosh, I love it. Absolutely love it. It is beautiful. This is Carolina's first book. So this is another one by Carolina Kubikowska. Um, This does have quite a few like pages with writing on in it. But I, again, I think it's stunning. Um, her artwork again 
I mean, there's just this. What is not to love about it, you know? <clears throat> um, I've only coloured one page in here so far. Um, yeah, see these two. Oh, they... I, I don't know what it is. Um, whether because I adore cats and, you know, foxes are, are some of my favourite animals. I'm not sure if this is a fox or a, a wolf. I'm not I'm not quite sure. I don't know. Or it could be maybe a coyote or something. I'm not sure, but anyway, I just yeah, absolutely love it. This makes me think of the piranha plants. <laughs> Super Mario. <laughs> absolutely love it. Um yeah, it's really, really cool. Um, but I've coloured this one. Um, I did do a little bit of watercolour on here. The rest is pencils. But the, my page was coming loose. I was so gutted. I don't know if you can see here. I'm going to have to put a little bit of tape. Yeah, just to secure it in a little bit better. But um, yeah, my, my page was coming loose. So I did have to put a little bit of tape there. But really like how this one turned out most of this was pencil work but um i think it was just by the, the just the purple on here that was watercolor but it didn't it didn't move as well as i was hoping on this paper but it's fine it still gave me a really really pretty effect look at this one i'm sorry i'm yeah taking ages but look at those they just oh my gosh it just really does speak to me. And even the pages like this, I think, are so beautiful. How we've got that stunning watercolour effect already printed on the on the pages. You know? It's um yeah, absolutely incredible. So the next book is this one. This is Girls with Poem by Momo Girl. Um, I have a whip in here. It has been a whip for years and I think at this point I am really close to maybe, I don't know, I just, I think her skin tone is too yellowy. Um, I, yeah, I don't know because I've really kind of burnish this into the skin now into the paper so I don't know if I just leave that as is and work on the rest of the page or abandon it because every time I look at it I'm just like I kind of feel a bit disheartened um and the fact that it looks like I've give her a bruise <laughs> rather than sort of like you know I, I don't know I kind of just went about the shading wrong on her nose um yeah that there shouldn't be this dark here so kind of looks like she's been punched in the face and it just I, I just can't unsee it so um but there's lots of other beautiful beautiful pages in here let me just zoom out a smidge I want to make sure you can see these images better how's that um yeah they're stunning um coloured I think two in here this one which I was so incredibly proud of this this was a few years ago and I was really really pleased with how her skin turned out um this was a whip for quite some time but um yeah I ended up really loving how it turned out I, I tried to keep quite a limited colour palette um and I just think, you know, her green hair with the leaves and then the yellow on her um her her sweatshirt with the like the same sort of yellows in the centre of the flowers. Um and then she's got like this sort of grey blue colour which matches her eyes. Yeah, I just really, really love this one. And this was my first page in the book that I completed sorry about that my loves i just had to deal with a situation with the kids the joys of easter holidays um okay so this was the first page that i completed in this book 
Um, she was a whip for a while as well, but I was so pleased with how she turned out when she was all done. Um, so there's that one. Don't think I've got any others done in here. No, but um, at the front of the book, we've got like beautiful coloured images of some of the pages here in the book. And I just think they are breathtaking. How gorgeous are they? Really, really beautiful. Um, so yeah, absolutely love this book. Okay, the next is this stunning book. This is Green Portraits by Lana Green. This was a gift from my stunning best friend Jane over at Coloured With Love, bless her heart. Um, I haven't touched this book yet because it's so beautiful that I, I'm quite intimidated. <laughs> Just look at these. They are breathtaking absolutely incredible um i cannot wait to, to start in here it's not that i don't want to you know who would not want to color these beautiful pages i just want to kind of like my wildflower folk by christine karen i want to make sure that i do my absolute best work in here um oh beautiful yeah so just oh there's no words for how beautiful this is see this is one of my favorites in the book i think this one here i absolutely love that i do think she'll be the first one that i color maybe i should just just do it just get it started um yeah i cannot say enough praise with with this book it's just sublime um okay now i'm moving into my forest gal books by apol so this is the second one this is the premium premium edition of uh the forest gal coloring book and uh i think i've only got one done in here i have got a whip um which is this one um i'm gonna replace let me see oh i don't have any handy um okay hang on let me just i'll grab a magnetic bookmark for now um <clears throat> because the paper bookmarks are about as much use as a chocolate teapot uh i've got this whip in here i didn't keep a note of what pencils i was using or what colors so i'm gonna have to uh, try and figure that out um but this is really beautiful thick um sort of like watercolor paper really beautiful they're printed single-sided but on the opposite page you do have um a copy of the original painting by apol so you can use that to sort of try and um copy the colors across or of course you can just color this however you want um the page in here i've colored i think it was the yeah, that was the first. Well, apart from the practice pages here, I coloured this one and it was a whip for a really long time. I wasn't liking how it turned out. I'm not thrilled with it at all. Um yeah, I'm I'm pretty disheartened actually. But it's it's done, it's it's done. I I'm glad the page is finished, but it just yeah, didn't didn't turn out how I wanted. But anyway, there is that one. Then I have um, Forest Girl 1. <clears throat> I've done a few in here. And it looks like I've got a couple of whips as well. I really want my um, my other sticky notes. Just give me two seconds. I'm just going to quickly go grab them. Okay. Yeah, the, I find the paper sticky notes are just, oh, yeah, pretty useless, to be honest. So we'll use these. Um, but yeah, she's, again, you know, up there with my favourite artists. 
So this was the first page I coloured in here. And this was a buddy colour with Beth and Tess. Um, I think this was my polychromos. I think the colours certainly look like them. Um, but yeah, I was quite pleased with how that turned out. As you can see, I didn't copy the colours from, from here. <laughs> I just sort of went with my own thing. Uh, yeah, so this is a, this one is a whip. Um, and I've got written down here that I was using the Colour Yet Imaginal pencils. Um, but I um, gave those pencils to one of the children. Um, so yeah, I think I'm gonna, I don't know, come in here with polys or something. So I might need to just erase the darker, the, the areas where I've done the like all three colors of the wood, and um, just sort of start over. Um, and I've got this one. I like how that one turned out as well. Um, I've got another whip. In here. This one. This is one that I'm working on at the moment. I'm just sort of slowly chipping away at. I did work on it, I think, in a live stream not too long ago. Um, so, yeah, I do like how this is turning out. And the luminance pencils are working beautifully on this. I can't remember what pencils I used here. But, yeah, I... Mm, I wasn't liking how they were coming out, so I might just go and erase some of that and fix it with different pencils. Um, this one, I like how she turned out. I look at it now and I'm thinking, I, I could have just, I don't know, maybe done more, I think, with some of the foliage, but yeah, I really like her. And I love giving her red hair in these books. I like her being a little redhead. Oh, this one, I forgot about that one. That's very, very cute. Love that one. Um, yeah, so there's the first one. And then I have the third one. I don't have the newest one at the moment. Um, because the only place I can seem to find it is on Etsy and I just can't justify um, the shipping costs at the moment. But that's fine, I've got so many pages in these books so I'm, I'm good. Um, this third one is called Moments Holy for Yourself. Um, and I think I've only got one done in here, no one or two, no two I think I've got completed in here. So I've got this one. one here which I adore I'm so smitten <laughs> with this page I, I still look at it now and I'm like yeah I coloured that I love it so whimsical and dreamy I really do like that one very very much um and then this one this was a buddy color with the beautiful lavella here on youtube her page is breathtaking it is absolutely stunning i did um try and use like color reference um from from this page here but also adding in you know some of my own colors as well but the references did definitely help me when it came to colouring the birds. And I was really proud of how they turned out, actually. I'm not, I'm not great, like I said earlier, with feather and feathers and fur and all that stuff. But yeah, I think they turned out quite nice. And you can't be a bit of shine and sparkle there as well. So that's the two that I've completed in this one. That would be beautiful, wouldn't it? Look at this. All those sunflowers. Oh, so pretty. So there is that one. <clears throat> the next book is this one. This is Yippie Kwaye, um, Volume 2, Mandala Magic. 
This is by Danny Banani of Unusual Suspects. And this was sent to me a few years ago um, as a gift from my beautiful friend Becky, um, who lives over in the US. And I am so thrilled to have this book um, because we can't get them sent here to the UK. So I feel so blessed and you know the fact that you know Becky thought of me as well it just makes it so much more special so I've completed a few in here I've got this one this unicorn page you can see the shine and whatnot there um I've completed a few in here one was quite recently actually I don't think I've done yeah so this was the most recent one here I thought as we're coming into spring let's uh yeah let's color this one and the first page I had finished in here yeah I haven't done anymore was this one it's like a coloring test page but I just yeah sat there with my um uh, big intensity markers and just coloured this one. It's so cute. Love it. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, there is that one. Okay, I'm just going to put this pile of books back on the shelf and I will be right back. Okay, so next we're moving on to my Jasmine Beckett Griffith books. So the first one is the um, fantasy art adventure. I'm just going to, excuse me, zoom you in a little smidge. Um, so in this one, I've done this one. She was a whip for a really long time. I think this is my second copy um, of the book. <clears throat> this one, I was really pleased with her and I still am, um, but I think the background, the ravens, or just the sky, I just think that, yeah, really lets this page down, but I do like her. Um, I don't know, I look at it now and I'm like, oh, do you know, I'd even be tempted to just, I don't know, go in and just black out the background, but I don't think that'll work now that I've got the metallic paint there. <clears throat> uh, yeah, see in my original copy I had quite a few coloured. It's a shame. Um because I, I had that one done, that was the first ever Jasmine Beckett Griffith page I had ever coloured and I really liked how mine turned out, I coloured her um, as she was turquoise and brown yeah, really liked, really liked that one and I think I did yellow butterflies if I remember rightly um, and this one I had coloured this one before, all in reds, oranges and yellows. Um, she was a buddy colour with my beautiful friend Paula. Um, she was done. She was a buddy colour with um, colour and chat with Sammy and Louise, I think. Or was it just Sammy? I'm not sure, but um, yeah, we had coloured this one. Um, I think I had started her. So yeah, I had quite a few done. Um, l no, not Lily. I had one called Autumn. Maybe she was in the other book. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. But anyway, there is that one. <clears throat> And then I have um, the Halloween colouring book. Again, this was a replacement copy. Um, 
this one, Voodoo in Blue. She was a whip for years and I love how she eventually turned out. I'm so happy with her. The only thing I'm not thrilled with is the the bits on her hair that I didn't shade and I coloured it sort of black and like a darker blue. I just wish I'd put some shading on that and also the Voodoo doll on her wings, but I'm I'm good with calling this one done. Um yeah. I do uh, do like that one. I like her skin a lot. Um, again, in my original, I had quite a few done. Um, this one. That one. I like the skulls on this one. I like the butterflies. I like the background. I don't like the character. But you, you win some, you lose some, don't you? So there is that one. Um, and that one, this replacement copy, this was a gift from my beautiful friend Christine. Um, and then I have Alice in Wonderland. Um... So I've got this one. Love this page. This was a buddy colour with my beautiful best friend Tess. And I put sparkly washi tape uh, around the edge. Really love how she turned out. <clears throat> um, yeah, there was one there that was just a complete disaster. So I, I glued the page to the back of this one. Um, this is a work in progress. She's been a whip for years as well. Um, this is after Monet's Water Lilies and I've gone in with my ink tents to try and sort of do all the background but uh, I, I don't know. I really like her skin and her hair and her dress but uh, I d yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So she's a whip in this one and this one yeah this one's all right not too bad i like her dress and her tights um yeah i don't know she's all right not too bad there's that one and then i have uh the mermaids coloring book i've done a few I've got this one. I don't think I've got any more before her, have I? No. I've got this one. Um, yeah, I think on this one I had smudged something on her face and I was like, oh my goodness. And yeah, I just put put sparkles on it. <laughs> so she's now got a sparkly face and tail. Um, and I believe this was a buddy colour with um, the lovely Brianna from Beautiful Colours here on YouTube. Um, so there is that one. I really like my mermaid, but my golden dragon just, yeah, it's not much of a golden dragon. Um, this one, um, I, I really did like how she turned out, but I just wish I had, you know, I know I had struggles with the lily pads down here and I gave up on these. I thought, oh, do you know what, I'm not even going to shade them. Um, but this one, um, Halcyon, really like the butterflies on this one. Um, yeah, they probably took longer than the rest of the page, to be honest. There's that one. one seashell princess i really like how she turned out so there's that one okay then i have um one emily liderhall old bag book and then the rest are my eerie books i'm just trying to move the pile <laughs> oh my goodness <laughs> Trying to move the pile onto the desk 
so I can reach them a bit better. Okay, um, so this is a new copy of this book because uh, I had it on my shelf for years and I kept sort of putting it in the declutter pile then taking it out, putting it in and I was like, do you know what? When I last did my, um, my last D stash, I was like, I don't, I don't colour in the book, let someone else enjoy it. Um, and I ended up regretting it. <laughs> so this is a new copy. Um, as you can see by the washi tape, I haven't coloured anything in it. Um, but yeah, even though like some of the big spaces, they intimidate me. I, I love her artwork. I really do. Um, I do have Sagarok Sagna, um, but you'll see that when I get to my hardback books. Um, but she is, um, for those of you who aren't aware, but I think by now everyone probably knows, the wonderful um, Colour with Claire here on YouTube, she set up a partition to have that book brought back and to have it like reprinted. Um, and I think it is now being released in October as Fairy Tales and Folklore, I think think um and it is available on amazon for pre-order so if you didn't get hold of saga rock Sagna, then yeah keep an eye out for that so there's that one okay then we have romantic country you will notice that i have um two copies of a few of these because i love the books and i want the chance to be able to throw different mediums at these pages so i wanted to make sure that i had two copies um, and just because I absolutely love them. So this is um, the first romantic country. I've done this one. Um, the, the, the grass, the trees, the sky, that was all done with a really inexpensive set of watercolors. Um, and then the pencil work is Black Widows that I just thought worked really lovely on this. Um, the watercolour in the sky did bleed through a bit, but that's fine because this is a sky as well, so I can I can blend that in, that's no trouble. Here's my Halloween one, lots of sparkle, of course. Um, yeah, I really like how that one turned out. I do really like that one. Um, this one it didn't take me that long and i think i don't know in hindsight i wish i spent longer on it to be honest um but yeah i don't know i just think i could have put more into it but i do like it um this one I think this was a buddy colour with Zoe. I tried to go for something different with my castle. Um, yeah, I quite, I quite like it. Um, but I think by the time I'd got to this, because it was a whip for a while, I was just so done with the page that I just didn't even bother shading the flowers and leaves. Um, but I can always go back in and do that. Because I think that would just really finish this page off quite nicely. Um, and I just put gel pen on the little flowers, so you can't really see any details on those. This one, this is years old, this page. <laughs> I look at it and I'm like, I still like it. I, I do like the water and how I've tried to get like a little bit of reflection here from the moon on the water. But yeah, I look at this now and I think, oh, I, I know I could do better. Um, but it's also really lovely to look back on, on work from, you know, years ago and sort of see where you were then to where you are now. Um, yeah, that's it for that one. I do have a second copy. Oh, do I have a second copy of the first one? I thought I did. I do have another copy of the first one. Where is that then? 
Uh, I think I've had that pulled out recently because there was a page with Easter eggs on it that I wanted to work on. But where did I put that? Anyway, it's exactly the same book, but it's 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 blank, um, and I had flagged a, a page with Easter eggs to work on. Um, this is Romantic Country, The Second Tale. This is my um, original copy of this one. I've done this double page spread, which was a, a whip for years. Um, and I was really happy with it until I did the background. I don't know what it is with me and backgrounds, honestly. I just, yeah, I ended up getting um, sort of the distress ink um, over the, the sign. I tried going around with the paint marker and I've made it look dirty. Um, I put stickles up here along the top of the bunting, which I wish I didn't. Um, and when I was stenciling on the, the bubbles, I ended up like a harsh line here. It just, yeah, it's, it's a mess. So I'm glad I have a second copy. Um, I have this one. I love this page. I think this is really pretty. I did make her face a little bit pink. <laughs> she kind of matches her dress, but yeah, I do. I do like this one. And I put a little um, rub on here. It says "Have a beautiful day." Um, she's got iridescent paint there on her wings. Um, that is a Calero. No, not a Calero. Oh, what's it called? No, yes, it is a Calero. What am I on about? Yes, it is. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, yeah, and this whip here. This has been a whip for donkey's years. And um, this is done so far with my castle art pencils. Um... I do want to come back and get this finished at some point, but I don't know. It's been a whip for so long that I'm like, oh, you know, it's, and it's, it's a lot. Um, but I do think it will look really beautiful when it's done. Um, so that's all I've got done in that one. Um, I do have a brand new copy of the second tale, but this is the, um, Japanese version. So yeah the, the paper is is it just it feels a bit nicer it's got a little bit more of a tooth to it than the english edition um so yeah i haven't i haven't worked in this one as yet but i do absolutely love it um romantic country the third tale um i've got a few in here my original copy was ruined, which I was gutted about because I had some really lovely pages done in that one. Um, so this is the first page I coloured in this copy and this was a buddy colour with my beautiful best friend Tess. Um, did we do this one as a buddy colour? I don't know. I don't know if we did this as a buddy colour or not. I think we did and then we did this one as well. Um, so yeah, I... Even now, I love this one. I'm just gutted that I smudged the black here. Um, but yeah. Um, and then this one, which I don't know what I was thinking. Like, I've painted behind here green, but I should have sort of done a line, you know, to sort of where the grass sort of stopped. And then I try using um, Artex acrylic paint on the background, and it just took so many layers. And yeah, I just. I was really happy with how um, the the trolley, my little pig character here, I was really happy with that. Not so much with the, the ribbon, but the, the background again, oh, it's just a disaster. Um, and this one, I think this was a buddy colour with Zoe as well. Um, and I do like how this one turned out. So yeah, it's uh, it's pretty. I think I could have like blended this out a little bit smoother on the windows, but I'm still. I look at it now, and I'm still really happy with that one. 
Um, and then when I did my Amazon Japan order not that long ago, again, I ordered another copy of the Third Tale. So this is exactly the same as what I've just showed you, but again, it's brand new. Um, then I have this one. This is the World Heritage book. I love this one. Um, I've got one page completed in it and I did have a double page spread whip. That was a whip for quite a few years. And the sky, oh my gosh. I It was just a disaster. And the more I tried to make it better, the worse I made it. So in the end, I glued those pages together. Um, and it's a shame because I love that double page spread. It was here, you can hear. Um, and it was the um, it was a double page spread with hot air balloons. Yeah. Um, so the only page I've got coloured in this one at the moment is this one. This was the first page I coloured in here, and it is Emma's tea room. And yeah, I think that's really pretty. I do like the yellow and blue. I think that's uh, really really cute. So there's that one. I love this one. I like this double page spread with like different fairy tales. So we've got like Peter Pan, Alice in Wonderland. Um, I've got a Wicked Witch up here. So yeah, I do really like that one. I need to come back to this one soon. I've really been sort of, I've, I've never fallen out of love with my eerie books, but I've just sort of got a renewed love and enjoyment for them lately. So, um, this one is one of my favourites. This is the uh, Wild Fairy Tales. I've done a few in this one. Um, they're near the front. So this is the one I want to come to next. Where is it? That one. The Wizard of Oz. I really want to come to this one next because I can imagine really sort of going to town with some beautiful um, metallic watercolour paints on here. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm excited to to come back to to this one. I think that page is so lovely. Um, yeah, so I've got this one. This was a whip for quite a long time. So this is Sleeping Beauty. Um, I don't know, I think I just went a bit over the top with the bright colours on this one. So, I, I like the green in the background here behind the window with the purple vines because I used those colours to represent Maleficent. And then I've done pink and blue because obviously the the little three little fairies, um, they were like, make it pink, make it blue with her dress. But I... It just feels like there's a lot of a lot. Um, but I coloured the three little birds down here. The colour of the three fairies. I think it's so cute. Um, and then I used a um, Calero watercolour paint on here. I think it was the basilisk colour on the, the roof there. Um, so when you, it's like this. It kind of looks like a coppery bronzy colour. And you shine it and it's got like a, like a beautiful greeny colour to it it's really lovely um and I put um stickles glitter gel all around the edges because I thought you know she's like a magic you know she's in like a magic sleep kind of thing um anyway <laughs> um and these two pages I absolutely love these I really do um I was working on I think I started this one first and then I ended up working on them sort of at the same time um i just wish that i had shaded the the flowers and the leaves but again i think because these took me so long to do by the time it got to these i was like they're done maybe in the future i'll come back and shade the flowers and leaves but yeah for now i'm 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 happy to call them done um but yeah i really like how they turned out actually really pretty right my loves we are nearly there we've got four more books and then we are done for part two so this one is um the world world fairy tales and legends i think this one yeah is this the fairy tales and legends i think it is um and i absolutely love 
this one as well. I do want to get another copy of the fairy tales one I've just shown you. I love this one. Love that Egyptian page. So gorgeous. A lot of these I don't know what what the fairy tales or um legends are. But I can use like Google Translate to find out. Um, because they do have thumbnails in the book, so that's fine. Um, yeah, so I've got this as a whip. Um, this has been a whip for years. I I wanted to go for like a sort of purple and orange theme. Um, but uh, I think the purple on the house is way too dark. And I did that with um, my ink temps. Excuse me, my ink tents pencils. Oh, excuse me. And then um, I used Crayola Super Tips for the skeleton fence here. Um, and the sky. I'll, I'll come back to this one. But um, yeah, I don't know. I need to figure out how to try and lighten this somehow. I don't know. Uh, and this one this is a whip as well um, but I think I was using my Arteza pencils on this and I don't have those anymore um, because I just didn't get on with them um, but I've already started here so I'm going to need to go in and erase this section here and again just start from scratch I think on that one that would be quite a nice page to do during spring actually um, but yeah, I did, from Amazon Japan, I did get a second copy of that one recently. So again, that's got washi tape on because that is untouched. Um, and then I have this one. This is the World, World, World Literature, this one. This is her most recent release and... I love it and I will be getting a second copy of this one as well. I know you know some of you might think why are you getting second copies of some of your books and it's just because I love them so much and you know like I mentioned earlier there's pages that I really do want to use mixed media on um, so I want to make sure that I have another copy of the book so if the bleed through from anything I use is too terrible I have another opportunity to colour the page that was ruined um and also because i just love her artwork um so yeah i do want to get doubles of her books and i am currently working through also getting doubles of my hannah carl's on books as well it just makes me happy um and at the moment i am working on a page in here it is a buddy color with the beautiful geordie from geordie colors um, I'm really hoping you will see it in my March completed pages. Um, no, it's not March, it's April. Oh my goodness. April completed pages. Um, but there isn't a page in here that I don't want to colour. I love all of them. I really do. That one is going to take some time with all these books. So yeah, I think Ink Tense will be my best friend on that page. But the one we are working on at the moment is this one. I'm just going to give you a quick... A quick peek. We're working on um the the tortoise and the hare. I just yeah, I'm I'm really happy with how mine's coming out. I've just got the tortoise, the path, and the grass on either side of the hill to do now. And then yeah, my page is done. I'm really happy. Oh, and some flowers at the bottom. But um oh do you know what? Whatever. There you go. Let's just give you a give you a peek, shall we? And that's how mine is looking so far um and i've loved it i've not i've not wanted to put put this book down um and that for me is a sign of a really really good book is when it's kind of like a book you read when you don't want to put that down as well because you're so invested in the story you just want to keep knowing what happens next i've got some coloring books like that as well and this is definitely one of them so this one will be staying out so let me just put that one to the side and then this one I've had this one for years um and I bought it by accident I thought this was the world heritage book um yeah I, 
I don't know. Um, but it's not. It's one of the Trace Around the World books where she's give us really faint line art. And so you can go around it with like a fine liner and then colour it yourself or just colour it as it is. Um, and I've had a whip in here for years and I still haven't come back and finished it. It's this one, the Tulip Field. So as you can see, I did go around with fine liners and outline everything that Eerie had um, sort of outlined for us on the page that she had drawn. Um, and I started colouring in the tulips um, and that was as far as I got. Um, I do want to come back and work in this book. Um, I cannot remember for the life of me what pencils I was using. Um, I don't know. I kind of want to say castle arts, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, but this is a... Yeah, this is um, a Japanese edition as well, I think. Is it Japanese? I think so. So the paper is really nice and it's, even though it's smooth, it's got it's got a little bit of a tooth to it. Not not much, but um, yeah, I think I'd quite like to go in with watercolour, but I know that that is going to smear the fine liner that I've put down because it is not waterproof. I think it was just inexpensive fine liners that I had at the time. Because as you can see, I, I dropped a, a spit a little drop of water here. I think that was when I was um, having a drink and a bit of condensation dropped off my bottle. And it's smeared there. But um, I don't know, maybe I'll give it a nice painterly effect. I don't know. Maybe I should try. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. I kind of have a, a reputation for screwing up backgrounds. But um, it is lovely. I mean, some of the pages like this, they're really kind of simple. Do you know what I mean? You've got big, big shapes, big spaces. And it's like, yeah, I'll just maybe go in and watercolour it and then do the outline. But yeah, it's, it's lovely. I just, I don't know. I don't know why I don't come to this one. I think just because I like the, the darker line art of her other work more. But not to say that this isn't a beautiful, beautiful book. So there you go, my loves. That is part two of my completed colouring book collection and completed pages. And you're also seeing my whips as well. Um, so this is shelf one done. <laughs> um, so yeah, we will move on to shelf two in part three, if that makes sense. Um, but it might be with these bigger shelves, I might have to split them into two parts each. Um, so we're just going to take this as it comes. If it takes 10 videos, it takes 10 videos. If it takes 14, it takes 14. But what I might do is release like one a week. Um, or two, uh, yeah, one a week I think is, is doable at the moment because they obviously, they do take some time to take the books off the shelves record the video put the books back and then sit and edit through a, a long video um so um yeah i will i will aim for one of these videos per week um but yeah if you see any books here that you are interested in a flip through of or you would like to um purchase and you you're struggling to find a link let me know and i will do my absolute best to help you with that that's no trouble whatsoever Thank you all so much, as always, for taking time out of your day to join me. I know these videos are a long one, um, but I really do hope you enjoy them. Um, me personally, I love seeing what people have got in their collection and looking at their completed pages. Um, yeah, it just, I, I really love those kind of videos and I find it so inspiring and just lovely to see what what books other people enjoy and, you know, sort of, feel inspired by their pages as well i just yeah i really really like that so again thank you so much for joining take care my loves stay safe and i will see you in the next one lots of love bye